Hi, this is a demonstration of a small application that permits to do a geometry using analog tools. So it's not uh, like GeoGebra, it's really with analog tools. So here we have a compass and I will draw a circle. And now we want to find the center of the circle. So for that we need to do a small construction. We need to create two perpendicular, so I will do one in yellow. Oops. Yep. Yeah, okay, and I didn't uh, set it properly, but I can update like this, and now it shows yellow. I go back to the compass, and I will select the right opening, and draw. Okay, so we have our first uh, circle, and I will do the same here, so same opening, another circle. Yep. So that, that's a shortcut that uh, if you draw a circle, and you go like uh, clockwise a bit, and then you get, go counterclockwise, and it will do a full circle. And uh, it's the same if you go counterclockwise and then a bit clockwise, it will also do a full circle. So now I have these and I need to connect them. So I'll place the protector here. And I, uh, we see it's too short, but there is that point, the red dot here is on the same line as the protector line. So you can uh, still see how okay, I'm on the right line and not just so I will trace and we have our first uh, line. Now I need a second one, so let's do it here. Yeah, maybe I should do it uh, maybe in blue. To not confuse the two. And I will take the compass and the same. We put it on the intersection. We go on the other side of the line and we draw a full circle. Then I will go here and I will draw a full circle. Okay, so now, yeah, it doesn't like some uh, stuff. Huh? Yeah, so I, I will put it straight and then I will erase the circle. So for now it's not tot totally stable, still in development, but uh, yeah, that's already, already something uh, working that I'm demoing. So. Okay, so we will connect these two, just checking, seems about right. Okay. So now we have a center here, we can uh, name it, so I will take capital Latin uh, letter and I will say A, then I can place my A here, but it's too small, so I will change, so I will give it the biggest size, and now it's clearer, I will go back to the compass and now we can try to check that the circle is indeed, ah, the center is indeed correct, so I will go over the red circle with the green stuff. And yeah, that's about it, with some precision uh, error, but yeah, we were able to find the center of it. So that's uh, better than using GeoGebra for demonstration simply because you have the real tools uh, showing and you are really tracing the lines and tracing the circles, which is more like what the student will do on their sheet. So that's the idea. And it's also available for Android. So that's the Windows version. But uh, obviously it can be exported for Android and it works more or less the same. And then it, it can be projected on the big screen if you don't want to use the Windows application.
or if you want to work on the tablet and that's about it and yeah okay i forgot something you have the labels so you could say a pink label and if you click there then you are able to type some text and paste it somewhere so the idea is that uh, you should not use the keyboard and that's why you have all these menus which permit to uh, yeah, annotate angles and stuff like that quite quickly without having to type uh, the letters because most of the time we, you will use these letters so that's why they are available in a pop-up and uh, yeah that way you don't have to show uh, keyboards when you are presenting also to edit style you can copy and paste style so if i want the letter in yellow i know that one of the first circles were yellow so i can select the circle here and say copy style and you see that it's updated to be yellow and now i can go to my label pink and say update style and that was not that one update style the n either okay ah was a few level above so yeah there is still stuff to announce like uh, this i think so it should be more indicative for now they just say line and, and circle and they should probably give some kind of coordinates and names or at least order of construction but uh, that, that can be seen there so maybe more the position and the radius which will already permit you to say okay that's that one and another good uh, improvement would be that if you select an object uh, there in the list it would flash in the view and that way you know what you have selected um, that's totally feasible uh, the infrastructure is there so that would also be something to ease and the last thing but that's more uh, complicated is to be able to select object in the viewport directly but that would be the last thing because uh, this one requires more uh, things to be done to detect the mouse so uh, that's why i would le let it last but with the identification uh, like center and uh, radius or four lines uh, maybe the slope and uh, uh, the position of some points or the two initial points or the two ex extremities and the slope so you can quickly identify because that, there with the slope we would immediately know which one it is because yeah, the slope are obvious so yeah and maybe also use colors so say circle and have a little uh, square or circle of the same color and that way if you color your object then you would have int with the color and then uh, you have the attributes of the object and with all of that you should be able to quickly know which object is which and for labels also moving them because for now you need to remove and re-add them which is not a big deal when uh, you are using letters and numbers because you have these pop-ups but uh, yeah that's still not the most uh, agreeable thing so maybe a move button and maybe the same for a circle being able to change the radius after but that i'm less uh, keen to do that because it would destroy a bit uh, the purpose of that application which is to use these two tools so yeah that would make no sense uh yeah that's it hope you did enjoy a bit it and it was done in Godot to yeah to make a bit of uh, advertisement for it which is a really great tools to make games but as you see can make also great softwares